Hello everybody at Powers Pride. I hope you're having a great night in Ryada tonight. Thank you for inviting me and I'm so sorry that I can't be there with you in person because Powys is my home county. Uh, it's where a tremendous amount of the work during the 1984-85 miners strike went on. People forget that the south of Powys, the Estragonlice area, uh, Abercrav, Colbren, Aniswen, etc., were truly a mining community and we were a big part of that mining community. So I have to say this for Powys. Um, it's great to hear about the Delice Valley all the time, but truthfully, we mustn't forget the role that Powys played in this, particularly the Estragonlice, Abercrav and Colbrin areas. The wonderful picture, the dancing scene that you see, uh, that's on my handout, was taken on March the 1st, 1985, at a club in Colbren. Not the Onchoy Miners Welfare Hall, not a Struganlice Miners Welfare Hall, not Abercrav Miners Welfare Hall, but in a social club that was being kept by relatives of those who were on strike. And we knew that we had lots and lots of children who had learned their party pieces for St David's Day, and we thought, let's have a concert. Let's get all those kids up on the stage and let's get them all doing their bit for raising money for the miners. So that was the idea behind it. And what a wonderful group of people that we had staying with us on that final weekend of the strike. Because on the Sunday, the announcement was made that the miners were going back into work. And that special group of people was Lesbians and Gays Support the Miners. Uh, I can't tell you what an important relationship that was. And that relationship carries on until today. Sadly, a few weeks ago, a very dear friend of ours, the partner of Jonathan Blake, Nigel Young, passed away. And I and my son and our minor support group, Banner, were there at the funeral in West Norwood in London. Friends to the bitter end. And it was those friendships and those links that opened our eyes to two different sorts of communities. Two different communities that didn't have anything in common. But there was this special bond that we had which was that we all hated Margaret Thatcher. So the enemy of my enemy becomes my friend. And that was how that special relationship started. When LGSM bothered to collect money for the miners' strike, bothered to get in touch with us, and we felt that it was important that we accepted that money, that we said thank you, and that we allowed people to come and see where that money was being spent and how it was being spent uh, and the sorts of communities they were helping to save. The picture inspired the truly iconic scene from the film Pride 2014 uh, where the Dominic West character does that dance. Um, Dominic West told me personally that he didn't like to dance and he didn't want to learn to dance but that the director, Matthew Watchers, told him that if he bothered to put the effort into him, that would be the steam sealer of the film. Steeler, sorry, not sealer. And it was. It's what everybody remembers, the joyousness of the occasion, us rising above all that adversity uh, and all that effort and all that work to keep over 900 families in the Neath Delice and Upper Swansea Valley fed and safe and warm was all worthwhile because when we got together we did have a lot of fun. The Pride movie tells a very special story as you may have all gathered by now of a very very special relationship that as I've mentioned is endured to this day. What made a group of lesbian and gay activists from London reach out? Well many of them were socialists and many of them were from the Communist Party but all of them knew that they had to fight back. And that's a word we don't hear a great deal today. And when I speak to groups of young LGBTQ plus people, often their youth leaders, uh, support workers all say to me, Sean, tell them what it was really like in the 1980s. What it was like for young gay men and lesbian women and the effect that it had on their lives, having to keep their sexuality a secret, being too afraid to say in work what they truly wanted to tell people, 
that they wanted to share, that they weren't ashamed of, but what was not legal at that point. Many of my friends who were teachers talk about the years of not being able to openly admit that they were lesbian or gay and the effect that that had on their confidence and really their relationship with the children that they were teaching and the young people they were teaching. But the, our communities got together. As I said, in the Neath the Lice and Upper Swansea Valley, we reached out. We were proud to make those links and we're still proud of those links. We had a common enemy and that common enemy was Thatcherism and fighting to save the collieries that our husbands, sons, brothers, cousins, uncles, fathers worked in. I had a father, a father-in-law, a husband, brothers, cousins, who'd all worked in the mining industry, so we knew how important it was. And we were fighting to maintain those jobs and fighting to maintain our way of life. I never thought in 1985, when the strike ended, that I would have spent a year raising money and handing out food parcels and that during my career as an MP, I would end that career handing out food parcels and helping really hard-pressed communities cope with the effects of globalisation gone wild. Whatever your political persuasions or whatever your political affiliations, it's tough out there for people. And it's through solidarity and it's through getting groups together and supporting the things that make us the same and not celebrating the differences that we can all unite together. Truthfully, is this what 40 years has brought us to? Well, yes, in a way, it's gone full circle, but it's been a great full circle because I know that there are people like yourselves out there who are willing to keep on fighting, supporting what's right to support in whichever way you want to support it, and I encourage you all to do it. So this story that you're going to watch now is the story of a friendship that's endured for 40 years and will endure because it was special and because it made a difference to two very disparate, different groups of people in two very different parts of the world. And we in Powys can be very, very proud of the part we pay, played. So please enjoy tonight and I hope sincerely to see you all in the summer when I'm over this Covid. So take care. Bye bye.